wanted to go ahead and show you a couple tips and tricks for our logo assignment. Um, one that will really help you out is to actually put a two-dimensional image on your sketch plane. So I'm just going to do TikTok for an example. Find an image I like, right click, and save image as. I'm going to save it in my downloads and I'll call it TikTok. Then I will go to my on shape. I'm going to create a sketch. Again, do it on the front. Get a good angle. Then I'm going to go up here and my screen is shrunk so you might have to do this as well. Kind of look through these drop down menus as uh, my screen is shrunk because um, I'm using my laptop so if you use your Chromebook your screen might be kind of shrunk too if you're using the big desktop. You might be able to, you might not even have to click this drop down menu. But anyways, it's down here is insert image. Then this is what students struggle with on their Chromebooks. You need to import the image. You can't really see it down here at the bottom. So what I have to do is then make my screen a little smaller just for a second. And then I can see that it says import image. If you have a nice big screen um, or you're using the desktops, then you have no issue. You just see this already. So you're going to click import, get into my downloads, and I got to go and find it. As I know, I have a lot of stuff. TikTok, wonderful. So now it's right here in my image kind of bank of my on shape. So I click it, and then I just draw an image rectangle. So whatever, however big I draw it is how big the image will be. So I'm going to do it pretty big. There you go. So what you should do now is finish the sketch, and I'll show you why in a second. So we have now just have an image that's two dimensional here on our on shape. So then we're going to create a sketch again right on the front and we're going to go ahead and draw this. I'm going to do it super quickly. I'm not going to even draw like the entire thing. Um, just you don't have to watch me do this. Again, I would definitely take my time more so, but I'm just doing it really, really quickly. And you just keep going all the way around it until you have a closed loop. And then you'd also probably do the TikTok writing down here at the bottom. And then you finish sketch. So why did I have you do the sketch on a um, or the image on a different sketch. So when you're done, you can click this eyeball button and it can make the actual image go away. So you can again check and make sure that all of your loops are closed. Now obviously mine's an open loop because I'm not going to do the whole assignment right now on here. But I did that assignment earlier and when I was finished it looks like this. So again I have the extrusion um, there's the picture on top of it, and now the picture is gone. I click this little eyeball, and then we have the extrusion and everything on here. Uh, last little thing, because I know a lot of students ask about the colors. Again, colors don't matter, because it's going to get 3D printed whatever color I have. But if you did want to change the colors, you can click this button over here, and then click the plus button, and then you can change the colors. So if I wanted to make the TikTok face right here gray, I'd click gray and click the face, and click all the little spots on it and make it gray. So that's how you change colors if you care about colors, um, but it really doesn't matter um, when it comes to the colors. All right, so hopefully that video helps. Have a good day.